G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the podcast and make sure you check out Butts Mom Premium where you can catch another episode of the podcast just for the premium members. It's fucking amazing, it's uncensored, it's fucking cocks are out, dicks are swinging in the air, it's fucking unbelievable stuff. You will not believe what we got up to on Butts Mom Premium. No cocks are out, just... um. Just buttholes. buttholes. Just buttholes this week. Buttholes this week. Doodles next week. Doodles next week. Make sure you're there. G'day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Butterfield Effect. My name's Isaac Butterfield, and welcome back for another episode. On today's episode, we have the great man, one of my favorite people in this world, Frenchie. He's a fucking Australian legend. He's been around since, I don't know, he's been around for a long time. Um, old, old French man. He has been uh, in the traps, in the trenches for quite a while. In fact, he just messaged me and he said, um, do I have to be on right away? Do we jump straight on? Just, just, just jump in. <laughs> Mate, we have, of course, the great man, Josh Nielsen. He's here as well. Joshy, g'day, how are you? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. French. How you going, guys? Hey, Hello. mate. Hello. Hey. Hello, how are you? Good. Has the podcast started? Yeah, we're on. Sick. I'll, I've still got a carrot to finish if that's cool, but I'll try not to do it into the mic. How he's going? That's all right. That's all right. I want to hear um, it. Shoot that thing. How's, how good's your speakers? Yeah, I mean, your microphone. Let's go. <laughs> so this, um, I'd like to introduce you to Josh Nielsen, uh, Frenchie. Um, hey, mate. How you going? Well, mate, how are you going? Cool, man. Uh, Real good. Two good mates of mine finally meeting uh, on the big screen. Mm. Oh, two little Frenchie. Zoom. little, little Zoom. Make you. Yeah, fuck yeah. So how you going, mate? What's what are you doing? What, so you oh, got bro. Couple, what? 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 You got a couple of the um for those of you listening to this on the audio, you're really missing out. You should check out just this bit on on Facebook. Oh, not fucking Facebook. How fucked am I? I've just been on a forty four minute run. I'm going two <laughs> minute extra minutes. Two extra minutes every day and my brain is fried. So um, probably shouldn't have done that before a podcast, but here we are. I had some a uh, couple of berries, so hopefully that fucking spikes me up. Frenchie is sitting in his room with with my two room? new housemates. With, with my two, two new housemates. housemates, I'm in my living room, and I can explain it, Isaac. It's definitely a lot to take in. Um, one of my housemates is Gladys Berejiklian, New South Wales State Premier. She's got a <laughs> uh, beanie on at the moment. Some would say it's a cardboard cutout. I hope it's the real thing the way i've been loving her it, she feels like the real thing and the other one is dan andrews uh dictator dan some people call him i've got a cut out of him i mean he's he's visited my house and um we just hang out we play checkers we we fuck each other it's a good time where's your boy <laughs> uh scomo oh scomo so uh, the way i look at it it's like pokemon you know what I mean? Yeah. If they gave you all 150 pokemon straight away you're not going to play the game are you? it's not exciting i need a I need to work my way up to the big boss, to Scomo. He's more of like, uh, I'd say, an Articuno. He's like one of those fucking bird chants. What are the, one the, of those real rare things. Yeah. Zapdos. It's gonna, Zapdos. Yeah. I was actually canoeing past Scomo's house today. So um, as you guys know, we only get to do little exercise with one other person. Our mate, Ciaran. He reckons his name's pronounced Kieran, but... Ciaran Lyons. It's spelt with a C, so come is he still on, working on for triple? Is he still working for Triple J? No, no, no. He's doing his own thing. He was on that uh, fucking Rich and Homeless show or whatever. Rich and Homeless? What's that one where... Fuck, you, he's you doing be- well. Is he, doing- <laughs> is he claiming himself <laughs> to be rich now? <laughs> no, what's that one where you be home, celebrities be homeless for a week and stuff? Um, life after TikTok? Is that a life after only? <laughs> <laughs> life, life during TikTok, bro. It pays fucking nothing. <laughs> um, filthy rich and homeless, I think it's called. It's some shit like that. He's it's not like- filthy rich. <laughs> yeah, but it's what just a vibe. About? He wears Tommy Hilfiger. That's all you got to do for that show. No, um, look it up. Out. Look it up. You he keep was talking. On that. I'm looking it up. He was on that. Um, so, yeah, I'll hang out with him. And he's like, you want to come for a canoe? And that... Uh, as you guys probably find, I'm sick of doing the same fucking walk every day around the block. Yeah, I'm fuck. Like, 
Yeah, have you been doing that, Josh? Oh, mate, no, I'm I'm lucky I'm still working, mate, but my missus, uh, she's just riding a bike. I get the same fucking stupid uh, videos from where she's riding a bike to the same spot every day. I fucking (laughs) switch it up for fuck's sake. Do you guys have the 5K rule in Newcastle too or not? We do, mate. Yeah, yeah. It's only 5Ks for just about everything. I think it's fucking, it's ridiculous. Yeah. That's fucking insane, bro. My 5K cuts out just before the beach, man. Like I can go to the harbour, but not like a, like a, a real beach. Fucking Listen, I'm, hell. I'm sorry. Um, it is called Filthy Rich and Filthy Rich and Homeless. Yeah, bro. Right. So I made... Our mate Ciara was on that. Oh, you've got the video up now, Isaac. Yeah, I don't muck around. So he was on this show where he was... Why was it called Filthy Rich and Homeless? It's like a catchy name, bro. It's like... Yeah, but all of these like, people that are on the show, so they've got celebrities that they've become homeless as like a, a dare or something. <laughs> but and I guess, you know, this guy's a lawyer or whatever. He's got a kid. He's a Lord Mayor. Kid. They said Lord Mayor. Oh, he's a Lord Mayor. Yeah. <laughs> okay, she's um, a restaurauteur. Pauline okay, no. uh, Netanyahu. Um, well, that'll get me fucking cancelled. <laughs> Paul, Paul, I, I can't pronounce your last name. I'm sorry. And then comedian and radio presenter, Ciara Ky- yeah, and Look Lawrence. how good he's looking. Let's oh, go, Ciara. Has he got a lazy eye? He always wears fresh, that jacket bro. too. Don't be a hater. You know he's looking fresh. Oof. No, he looks good. And that's, the, that's a vet. That's, um, no, that's Andrew Rochford. He's, uh, he's a doctor. Anyway, so they all went out, and I think they – what did they do? They killed a few homeless people or something? <laughs> no, no, no. They go and live That's on the street. That's not what happened. They go on the live on the street, but it's not really the same because obviously there's a camera crew, there's producers and stuff like that, um, and they go live on the street, I think, for a week or something. Really, they sh- should be doing uh, a don't, life swap. You know, I feel like that would be nicer. So, yeah. like, the homeless get to live in his apartment for a bit and he lives in theirs. 100%. <laughs> It would be like, I imagine it would be like, I remember Will Ferrell did an episode of like with Bear Grylls and he said it was just like they were just giving him muesli bars and stuff off camera as soon as they stopped shooting. I imagine this would be exactly the same. As soon as I got a bit hungry, they'd be like, come on, mate, give me some fucking food. Like they'd be giving like muesli bars and stuff. In all fairness, if if you did have a homeless dude walk into Triple J to host the radio, it would look exactly the same as every Triple J host who hosts the radio. Get out of here, bum. No, that's Dave Woodhead. (laughs) And I'll probably play the same music too. <laughs> Give us more money. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you were con- so sorry. Sorry to interrupt your story, French. No, that was the, that con- was the whole story, wasn't you it? Were was, was there an end to it? You were canoeing yeah, so went- with one of your high-profile friends. Well, it's like because you- bro, five Ks. I don't have that many friends in my radius. I've really only got two to three I can see, and so I've just been rotating them like a, like a little fuck boy. Um, and Kieran's got the water, so like he's one of my favourites when it's a when it's a hot day. So we, we got a canoe, his mate's canoe out, and we went past Scomo's house, the old uh, fucking what's that, Kira Billy house? Kira Billy, bro. Not a lot of security there. You know what I mean? Really? So I compare it to like America. Like if you go past the president's house, like there's going to be like armed guard. There's going to be uh, yeah, possibly some some right snipers yeah there's gonna be a lot fucking going on we we went past the bank there's a few security cameras that kind of look like those fake ones you know what i mean that they just got out the front of buildings and no it's wires not connected, connected to anything them. yep <laughs> there was a fucking tradie working on the dock <laughs> and no <laughs> guards not one guard we could literally just put the canoe up and then walk up the bank into his house what happens if you pull up at the dock there and just do like some jetty jumping or something um, there's a sign that says no, no, it says no, keep no moving. Loitering. It's like, it, it's like, yeah, no loitering, but like a, mm-hmm. cur- like a boating term. You're like, you got to keep moving. Keep on floating. Like keep on yeah, swimming. Keep on it's floating. got a photo of a dory. There's a sign that said keep on floating. So it's pretty sure. Keep on swimming with a photo of yeah. dory. Um, yeah. So I, um, on, on this whole 5k thing, I was so in Australia right now, you can't leave your local, well, New South Wales anyway, and we're all in New South Wales. Josh and I are in the same town of Newcastle. French is in Sydney in the city. City of Sydney? Yeah, luckily I'm in the city, so it's a, a bit around, but yeah, in the, right there's in the heat, city. Like, and that's the thing. With the 5K radius, there's so many things for you to do in Sydney. Like there's a lot in five kilometres. And mm. um, what what is, what's to your uh, left there, mate? Is that is that is that Sierra and Lions or what? No, no, you're pushing something away. Oh, that's my fucking dog. Fenton keeps jumping up. As soon as I eat a carrot, he's jumping up trying to get the carrot. I've got him out his own fucking carrot, and now he wants my carrot. I'll give it to you, and you're gonna get you're gonna enjoy it for like one second. Fuck off, Good then, boy. dog. 
Good boy. Um, Bro, sorry so about that, guys. We're, <laughs> we're, we're professional. In, we were in Bunnings yesterday um, doing uh, things that needed to be done. We actually literally went there for something that needed to be done for business and that was painting um, the new studio. And we're looking at paints and we ended up, we got the shits with the paints there. We didn't like it, whatever. We went and had a look at some flowers and um, old mate in the flower section comes over to uh, Claire and I and says, mate, you guys, you know, we're holding hands because, you know, we're pretty cute and shit. And um, and he hey. goes, don't, hey. <laughs> and, and so, he goes, mate, don't get too close here. The coppers are walking through here looking to fine people $5,000 if they're both from the same home. Oh, what the fuck? Because only like, one person's mad. supposed to go out, aren't they? Only one yeah, person from each household's supposed to go anywhere. Doesn't make that's any fucking said. sense. That's what he said. He said, mate, you have to only one person per household. I was blown away. I was just like, that's this retarded. is- That's retarded. Yeah, that's fucking retarded. I, I was, so I was pretty angry. I was like, who the fuck are you? Not not the dude at Bunnings, but like, you know, the, the police. Like, who the fuck are you to tell me I can't go to the shops with with my partner or with my wife or with my fiance or whatever? Like, who the fuck are you, mate? You can't, Literally, you can't shut bro. me down. Literally. Madness. Like, I feel I feel like I'm going crazy. And then some, some of my friends are just like, accept these rules. They're like, okay, makes sense. Yeah, why would I want to go five and a half Ks? Like, Fucking Ugh. what? It's an arbitrary fucking line. Yeah. And the two people you can exercise with outside when there's no proven cases of transmission outside. Like Zero. What's the fucking point of that? Even the health right. minister, Brad Hazard, came out and said that there was there's zero link or there's no link between um, being outside and cases and all that type of business. Like he was just like, no, nah, that's not, you know, that's not scientific or that's not, there's no science behind that. And yet here we are, we can't go and hang out with people outside. I was Madness. talking to um, Nerida Bint, Isaac, who, uh, Frenchie, she's a lady that owns a, a women's gym up here in Newcastle. And she was telling me that they've, they've been trying to do like a few like outdoor sessions, like with just a few clients and mm. stuff, just to keep kind of people moving and that. And um, she said the police were following her trainers from their houses to the park and then like oh, making sure what? making sure they weren't. Yeah, she was like blowing up about it. Um, it's ridiculous. Yeah, the coppers are actually following the employees from their houses to where they were working out and keeping an eye on them. It's fucking bizarre. Fucking like my, um, bizarre. One of the ladies that lives in my street, she's a copper, and I was talking to her the other day, and she, and I just said, so what? Um, you know, what's it like having everyone mad at you all the time? And she said, oh, it's, it's fucking all we do now is just check people are doing the right thing. Like we're not doing any. Nothing, you know, you signed up for in the police to help people and save people. She literally just like running around making sure everyone's throwing their masks on that, you know, does or does not, you know, protect you or whatever. Like I, I put out a video uh, last week about this and about the health passports and shit. And people were mad because I said, oh, I'm happy to get the vaccine. And I am happy to get the vaccine. I don't, I don't want to get the AstraZeneca one because fucking six weeks ago you're saying don't do it. And then you mm. go, nah, do it now. Like, fuck you. <laughs> Give me an mm. option. Um, yeah. And, you know, you do have the option of Pfizer now, but you can't get an appointment for six weeks. And people are saying, nah, nah, we're not trying to force you to have the vaccine, but you can't work until you get it. It's just, um, it's a sad state of affairs. But Yeah, I don't I don't like that. I really don't like that they're saying, like, I'm, 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 I don't care what people do. I think you should be able to choose. But And they're saying that they're letting people choose, but... Then they're saying, well, you're not going to be able to do X, Y, to and Z. go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to be able to go out to eat. A lot. Like some employers are going to make it mandatory to be vaccinated. You're not, that's not choice. That's that's fucking the opposite of what you're saying. It's like, it's crook. It's really crook. It's fucking, yeah, yeah, exactly, I don't like that at all. Exactly. They're saying if you're not vaccinated, it's more dangerous for you. It's like, so be it. If that's their decision, like, oh, well, yeah. you know what I mean? So if you've got. And so the, the science of whether or not you are more um, able to spread a higher load of the virus. You know, load. We're, load. we're like men. We know about load. spreading loads. Big load. <laughs> Big cum shot of the virus. <laughs> yeah. Big COVID cum. Imagine uh, if that was how you spread the virus was through jizz. Ejaculate. How many dudes oh, would still fuck. be spreading the virus? Like oh, you you'd just, have to, yeah. You'd have I got to. a few mates, yeah. Super spreaders, they call them. I think. Yeah. <laughs> I, got, I, got a, I got a few mates that'd be guilty of that for sure. Well, the, well like, have, yeah. like we were literally, the boys wouldn't be able to control themselves because <laughs> if you look about history, they they will still be like, I'm, I'll fuck this chick. She'll probably get pregnant, but I just can't fucking help myself. Yeah. I, I still don't want to wear a dummy. And they're like, ah, oh well, like, I got a kid it now. Is, <laughs> it is built into the male 
psyche that they need to fuck. And, yeah. and dudes, like, you see it all the time. Like I know there's some countries where they'll fuck like goats and they'll fuck donkeys and shit and it's just part and parcel. I think that's like New Zealand or whatever it is. But like they... <laughs> Good one. Um, <laughs> they, um, but this happens all over the world. And like, it's always like you find out about a dude like rooting an animal. Or Do you remember that video of that dude rooting a chicken? Bro, I That's watched a- that. I watched that on, on my podcast, uh, Tom and Frenchy podcast. How you Teacher? go? No, I literally did. Is this the one where he's like full got it in like the shed and he's like opening it up, trying to find the right spot. And he just, yeah. And then he'll look oh. back and stare at the camera going, what? And he's got his little wang out and he just, he's like unashamedly like, oh, it's very, very bizarre. It sounds what, graphic. <laughs> it is. It was part of the, um, it was like when we were in like year, or oh, maybe year seven or year six and it was going around on people's phones or maybe a little bit older. And well, maybe I saw uh, a different chicken one. So go on. <laughs> Did you see the updated high definition chicken fucker? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> License of registration. Chicken what was fuckers. this chicken one then, Isaac? What was this chicken one? I think it was the same one. You oh. know, you know, um, fleshlights. Mm. I do. Well, mm. <laughs> do we ever? <laughs> I do. Fleshlights are basically a fake, a fake vagina. Would this? I know what it is. Was- <laughs> <laughs> fleshlights are like an expensive avocado. Yeah. <laughs> Well, but you don't eat them afterwards. You don't eat them afterwards. Um, so this dude was using the chicken as a flashlight, and he was opening the chicken's cloaca, which is what they have as a vagina and anus, and he was having sex with the cloaca. And a, a beautiful film. I think it's a James Cameron movie. It took him 15 years to make. I think it got an make. award. Yeah, I think yeah, it got an it award. <laughs> Best soundtrack. It was, up, it was up there with Slumdog Millionaire. Um, it was called... <laughs> Strong it was called, it was a strong year. It was called Cum Bum Chicken Air. Um, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and yeah, so it was graphic. It was it was one of those videos that you watched alongside the B&E Pain Olympics. Oh, I haven't that. seen that. I haven't seen you that. Haven't, okay. Well, on your show, um, uh, Frenchie, Tom and Frenchie podcast, yep. great podcast, yep. one of our um, competitors. No, no, no. We're, we're in oh, our own we lanes, are. bro. We're, we are. Plenty of room um, in the pool. No, nah, man, not the way I swim. <laughs> <laughs> I swim like a backpacker looking for a chicken to fuck. And I I think, um, so yeah, so you should react to the B&E Pain Olympics. So it was- B&E, the, what does B&E stand for? Break an Anna, I don't know. Yeah, but, okay, bacon okay, eggs. Okay, okay, okay. Bacon <laughs> That's what I was like. I was like, is it a brand? They've made their own brand for the Pain Olympics. <laughs> I assume it's like jackass type Pain Olympics type things, is it? No. Oh, no, no, no. So I, I remember it from school. It was out of oh, control. You you so, can you probably got a better okay. recollection of it than I do, I think, but I remember it being very, very full on. I, I got made fun of at school because I watched the whole thing. Like, I wanted to see what it was about. So what it is, is it basically starts off with can imagine, imagine you know on the barbecue when you when you have your Father's Day breakfast at primary school, and they have the barbecue happening and they're all cooking snags, and one of the dads doesn't trust he's cooking with the snags or even at the footy, so he'll cut the snag down the middle to check that it's all yep. cooked and then flip it over. So this is what dudes were doing with their dicks on oh, the B and E Pain oh, Olympics, no. and so oh, they no. cut down the middle of the cock and fillet it open. While it's right? on a barbecue, no, that would that would be too far. Um, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Fuck. Don't still, be ridiculous. still, don't cut your cock down the middle. Yeah, go on, go on. So oh, the B and E Pain Olympics was this crazy video that was going around back in the day. You know, early two thousands, early two thousand and tens, and you would see these dudes cut their cocks off, and everyone would watch it and just go, "Holy shit, this dude's just cut his cock off." And there would be a, there was a girl in there that had all these fishing lines attached to fishing hooks inside a vagina lip, pulling them apart. Dudes were slicing off their knobs they were sticking big fucking dildos down the eye of their penises and i tell you what tough wank but worth it it is confronting <laughs> shit no, so we would, watch, I would not watch all that no, no. Uh, there was there was that there was so the bne pain olympics there was two girls one cup everyone, everyone knows, knows that. that that's very famous classic there was one man one jar do we know that yeah, I remember that. Was that the dude that sat on the jar? 
So he, he shoved a jam jar up his asshole, lubes it up, of course, and it shatters. Um, jam in it or no jam in it? Empty. Um, marmalade. In and it. No. But oh. afterwards, there was some jam-like substance <laughs> in the jar. Oh, <laughs> I wonder what those girls from Two Girls, One Cup are doing now. Like, I wonder what their day-to-day looks like now. Fucking, I think they're politicians. The can, we, yeah. can, we, can we find out I think out they're in they're Parliament, doing. aren't they, working for the New South Wales <laughs> government? <laughs> and I think she that's... went on to become an advisor for Gladys Berejiklian. <laughs> Isn't that... The, okay, they got would have gotten no money for that too because no. someone else it just got leaked everywhere. And if they were on the OnlyFans, they'd be probably millionaires from that. Yeah. What if, um, what's it, the guy did Only OnlyFans backflipped on the nudity ban? Like they were they're gonna always to... going to. They were always fucking going to. Why did well, they even like I jumped on that in pretty the first hard. place? I was I jumped on that pretty hard. I acted like Nelson Munts in The Simpsons, just going ha ha um, at all the OnlyFans girls. But but did you hear why they started cutting down on explicit content? No. Nah, how come? Was it was it child porn? Yeah. Oh, you're kidding. So Tom, Tom, uh, my <laughs> mate was telling me. So, so, so Tom was caught. <laughs> no, he wasn't in it. He wasn't in it. He was saying they didn't regulate it very well. Yeah. Okay. It was just. It was so just there a was all the videos going up, which were legitimately illegal, not just child porn, some animal shit too. The chicken video was back on there. Um, okay. And yeah, and so that's why the investors or the money stuff was well, they were going to have lots of lawsuits too. So like, oh no, look at all these steps we had taken place. Then they did made this rule. They lost heaps of money. Like, oh no, you can show explicit content again, just no child stuff. It's like, well, should have been from the start, maybe. Probably, guys. probably should have been the rule anyway. <laughs> maybe. Uh, yeah, anyway. Yeah, anyway. Well, there's some there's some people that are arguing that it was all just sort of a um uh some uh, publicity a publicity for the for the whole concept, and it probably worked. Everyone was talking about it. Do uh, they need more publicity? No, no, all they, the creators, heaps of creators left, but and then all these other sites popped up going, yo, there's an opening, they're weak. Do you know what I mean? Let's <laughs> let's fucking yeah. get them. There was other, there was this one going around Frenchie fans, this um <laughs> comedian guy was trying to get girls just to send him stuff and he would post it and, and said he'd give him money, but how yeah. did that go? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't do it. <laughs> I'm thinking about wasn't it. There, I was thinking about wasn't it. there another one? Wasn't there another one called Dibble Prime? <laughs> Dibble Prime, yes. Same time as uh, Prime Possum. It was a similar Prime. vibe to that. Time for bed. <laughs> no, so that's what you... I said. Sorry, go on. Uh, oh, you want to get into the Dibble stuff? Fuck. Bro, well, you did uh, a video I about video. it, didn't you? I did a video about it. It's all been said. What were you going to say? Sorry. Oh, uh, bro, the funniest fucking thing was not funniest, but like, because I filmed with the cunt. Yeah. And like, and then, well, I think we did maybe one or two videos together. Then it comes out he's a fucking pedophile. I was like, whoa, hectic. I hadn't talked to him in fucking maybe a couple of years. Well, and then he a- tried to. Apparently, he's not a pedophile because he never went through with it. Oh, oh, that's fine then. Okay. And, get him back on air. <laughs> and, yeah. uh, well, no. I mean, Joe Biden's a president. Um, Yeah. Well, I think that. They they didn't get him like couldn't get him in jail because he wasn't caught doing it, uh, or hadn't had the hadn't gone through with it. Maybe that's why he couldn't get jail time. So I don't I don't know if he's a he's he's a child groomer, um, but not a pedophile at this point. It hasn't been proven. Yeah. I'm saying that just in case we get sued. Yeah, legally so, he allegedly did these things. He's whatever. He's allegedly. No, nah, well, up it's been proven um, that he was chatting okay, with a good. fourteen year old. So. Okay, okay, well, it's my okay, fucking good. podcast, mate. We're not all Tom and Frenchy watching the B&E Pain Olympics jerking Tom off. So. <laughs> well, I was going to say, so obviously in the YouTube community, you meet everyone, you film with everyone at, at some point. So you're going to cross paths with, with, with units, with rare units. We film a video. I didn't think any of it. A couple of years later, he's a pedophile. The video I filmed with Marcus Dibble was a video called uh, Best Year Nine Party Ever. Where we played Year Nine Boys. <laughs> Is that video still up online? Oh yeah, I kept it up. I kept it up. I'm not gonna pretend I didn't shoot it. Like he has a boner the whole time. I should have. I should have noticed. I should have noticed. Mate, you should do a reaction video where you watch it and react to the to the jokes right. in it after the story. Right. The whole time he's going like, when's the, when's the actresses getting here? <laughs> no, he's not. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked. 
Yeah. Have you had any blowback? Oh, yeah, at I should all? do a video reacting to it. I, th- I agree, Isaac. I think really have that. you had any? Has anyone gone back and like found that video and commented on it since he has he been charged? Like, what's the yeah, he got charged with um grooming a child. A has anyone gone back and like dug up that video, Frenchie? And like, oh, a few people have seen it. They just wrote this aged well. It's like, what, what can <laughs> you do? You don't <laughs> like if you if you live life long enough, you're going to cross paths with a pedo. Like, that's like hard to say, but like. You got a mate's mate who was one. Like, you don't even know. You yeah. might fucking So it is what it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fortunately, yeah. none of my... I don't, I don't think we've heard the last of that. I mean, he's posted on his... Inst- nah. He's posted on his Instagram that, you know, you haven't heard the last of me and, and and people will believe don't always believe what you read and all this type of stuff. So I don't think we've heard the last of that story. What, is he, what does he mean? Is he? It sounds like possibly... That sounded like a terrorist threat. Did anyone else nah, think nah. that? No. Nah. Oh, you mean he's going to join the Wiggles? Like, what the fuck do nah. you mean? Well, he's not going to. I don't me. think he's going to become the next Joker. But he. Um, You're not coming back from that. You're not coming back. No, from there's that. no coming back from that. It's not like Bill Bill Cosby's going to release a new album and it's going to hit the top of the charts and take Donder out. But he fucking um, would. I know. Yo, he would. <laughs> Yo, the craziest part about the R. Kelly situation, as much as we say you can't come back from that, he's mid lawsuit. For underage stuff, I think the girl with the P video was maybe 15 or something. This is 2007, yeah? He's mid-lawsuit. Allegedly, yeah. Mid-lawsuit. They still, half of the fans still love him. It's like a sort of allegedly going on. He's like, there's allegations. He drops the album. He drops the album with Hot and Fresh Out the Kitchen. What's that song called? Ignition. Ignition. He drops the album with Ignition, goes to fucking number one. Everyone loves him again. He dropped it like, he was... Mid mid law, mid court case, fuck. So wow. he got all famous again, and then the the cult kept going. Then eventually they're like, "Nah, you're not dropping good enough music. We're, we're going to turn on you." <laughs> God, <laughs> that's you know, it's always. I imagine in the music industry, it's there's a lot of pressure behind you to follow up on an album. But if you know you're going to get fucking done for underage sex, there's, there's a lot of pressure be, to get a good fucking a album. Good out. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Jeffries has got that great bit where he talks about all the famous pedos through history, but no one cares because they were so so good about Alvis, Charlie Chaplin, and then he's like, "I'm just what I'm wondering is how good do you have to be to fuck a kid?" <laughs> <laughs> because yeah, well, because he's made some good points. Charlie Chaplin and Elvis both uh, did some sus things with some young girls. So yeah, Wo- uh, there's Woody Allen too. He was he was right. Uh, Woody Woody Allen married his stepdaughter. Um, yeah, how and is they this were living in the same working? house? Is he alive still? I don't even know, bro. How literally? How he still feel makes videos, bro. He makes more than Steven Seagal, and that's saying something. Wow. Mm. So, Seagal looks like a Seagal looks like a massive wanker. He looks like he'd be a proper fucking flog. <laughs> yeah, yeah Steven, but to be fair, to be yeah. fair to, <laughs> to be on. fair to Seagal, he shouldn't be. Uh, action he star eva he shouldn't be famous he's like <laughs> he's living everyone's best life how the yeah, fuck that's true okay so are you looking up um, steven seagal isaac no I'm, I'm back to two girls one cup okay yeah uh, that's good okay Let's so go. we're on a website called waterford <laughs> whispers news now i don't know if this is a joke or what it's i'll, I'll stop you right there that's a, it's a parody page from oh, fuck. I, only sorry oh, mate yeah you- Waterford, Waterford's just north of Cork, where I used to live in Ireland. Waterford Whispers is a parody page. I should have let you go okay. on with that, and then okay. Told okay. You, oh, yeah. you almost Sorry, got mate. boomed. You almost got boomed hard. Yeah, you could. Fuck, I should have reported on the Onion. Oh, the internet would have fucking loved that. Fuck. <laughs> oh, there's this great site news. The Batuta. Did you see the latest one? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to launch into the comment section. Hang on a sec. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, if we can't believe fucking Waterford Whispers, we'll go to Wikipedia. Uh, <clears throat> Two Girls, One Cup is the unofficial nickname of the trailer for... Can anyone guess the name of the actual video? Oh, no. It'd be something hilarious. Mm. Come on, Ben. What do you got? Uh, f- the Fountain of Youth. <laughs> <laughs> Fountain of Spoof. Know. What is um, it? The trailer for Hungry Bitches. A 2007. <laughs> um, go on. 2007 Brazilian scat fetish pornographic film produced by MFX Media. 
The two, the trailer features two women defecating into a cup, taking <laughs> turns in what appears to be consuming the excrement and vomiting into each other's mouths. Lover's Theme by Harvey Roy plays throughout the video. The video became one of the best uh, known shock videos. I'm going to click on that little hyperlink and have a look at some of the other shock videos. In itself, <laughs> uh, for the react- for reactions, it's graphic content ex- uh, ex- 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 excited, excited from viewers who had not seen it before. Around mid-October 2007, video sharing sites, including YouTube, were flooded with reaction videos for first-time viewers. It was one of the videos that actually launched the idea of reaction videos. So I, as my uh-huh. comedy career, owe my career to Two Girls, One Cup. <laughs> there you go. Thanks a lot. They, Thank you. They could be ladies. selling you for royalties soon. Viewers will often speculate that the apparent feces are actually food substances such as refried bre- beans, ice cream, or peanut butter. Oh, come on. Don't ruin the magic. Oh, um, what about the vomit then? Exactly. Uh, the video originated from Brazilian distributor pornographer, porno- pornographer Marco Antonio Florito. Uh, from Sao Paulo, who describes himself as a compulsive fetishist. Uh, Forito, uh, having interest in producing films, uh, 1994-96, his wife, uh, using artistic name Lesita Miller, began fetishizing film business and soon moved on to Corofolia, which I guess is eating poo. Um, Yeah, so I want to find out. There's no real up... I can't really find an update of, of the girls, unfortunately. Quick um, question. Um, where are yeah. they now? Definitely, we need to where are now they from the girls. How 100%. much would you have to get paid to do that? Oh. So you and a mate, you and a mate, you two, maybe you two lads, oh, shitting no. in a cup, drinking it, spewing in each other's mouths. Do it How for much? a carton. I'll do it for a carton. Of what? <laughs> oh, whatever you want to get, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> to his, to his new. Ca- to his new. new. No, I need it. Have to be a yeah. carton of something that's hard to find. Nah, I'd want. Yeah, re- Resh is out the bottle. I don't think you can pay me enough to do that, eh? I don't think there's a, an amount. Oh, I'll fucking... do it. Would ya? 10 milli. Easy. 10 million. Yeah. Is, it yeah. getting, is anyone else see it? Or is it just between you oh, and. Fuck, I'll put it online. I don't fucking care. For 10 milli, they'd be like, <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Only 10 million. Um, so. What are you going to do? Yeah, what do you mean? I did that's hear. a lot of money. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I, so I, I did hear to... that they they did find out what happened to him. I can't. I heard this on a podcast, but anyway, basically, what happened is they're still working. These girls, oh, that's um, good. They're still doing porn. They're still getting amongst it. Getting it are done. they mums? Are they mums? Well, it's bad enough if your mum was an OnlyFans model. Imagine if your mum was the chicken two girls one cup. Like that's. Imagine finding that out. Like you walk down with one of your mates and he gets into the car to pick you pick your pick your mate up in like year eight and it's the two girls, one cup girl. And you're like, no way. There she is. The shit eater herself. She hath arrived. That's all time. It's it's almost one of those ones that's so far you wouldn't even bring it up to your mate. You'd be like, you know what, let's just never speak of it. Do you know what I mean? Like little well, one when was she's your like mom, a bit of a you... milf, you can you can rip on him. But if his mum's literally eating poo, you're like, ah, oh, I can't, <laughs> I just can't. Or you'd save it up when you really needed it. You'd save it up that one time when he embarrasses you in front of a hot cute chick or something. He's like, well, your mum eats shit. <laughs> if that was your mum, would you it. would you accept a kiss good night from her if that was your mum? Oh yeah. What? Wait, where? Just not open mouth. <laughs> well, I don't do open mouth with my mum anyway, so it'd be, it'd be awesome. fine. I'm assuming she would have brushed her teeth since then. It's, and also, I, like, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I think it's 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 pretty hot, man. I don't know. I can hear Dixon <laughs> watching something on TV upstairs and it's got piano music, so I'm sort of starting to worry. Suspicious. <laughs> I should. You know what I should do? Yeah, that should be the girls. intro to this podcast. That music should, should be the intro to this podcast. Just the music. <laughs> bet, Just the music. No, nah, it wouldn't be copyright free. Someone would have jumped on it. Well, let's fucking spend some money and get to let's get it. It'd you be know, awesome. Some dude did a um a video, a song about me, and it's um he did it about so many other people. Like it just heaps of different people. And it, the song is 
Isaac Butterfield drives his car every day. And this dude did this song about like everyone, Frenchie. I, I, I'm not sure who did like, He did it about every, like everyone, like so many people who were online or comedians or whatever. And I played it in a video and he copy wrote struck, struck me. No, struck me. he yeah. fucking didn't. He did it about so many different people. So I can't play it, but that song is everywhere. And I the, I got this song made about me before I made any like videos on what on, on YouTube or whatever. It was fucking weird. But yeah, he um China. that's kind he of like try to make like, some cash out of it. Yeah, that's a hustler, isn't it? That is like fucking next isn't level. It? You're not gonna make much, but like No, no. But I mean, if if all you have to do is change one word in the song and then someone might play it somewhere and you can go, hey, that's mine. Can I have the cash for it? Not a terrible business plan. How's it go again? Drives his car every day. He drives here. He drives there. Oh, (laughs) Oh, Isaac Butterfield. (laughs) Drives his car everywhere. Do do do. I fucking it got stuck on my head. We were playing it on on the on the road one day, and we just played it over and over again. Hey, I was uh, I was walking the dogs the other day, and mm. this old dude was out the front on for a chat. Great old yeah. guy on for a chat, and he said as we were leaving, he says, "Mate, you know what? You seem like a nice fella, but I got to ask about that T-shirt. Is that like a far right, uh, like na- neo-Nazi T-shirt?" And I was like, "What?" He goes, you, "You're wearing the, the North Face T-shirt. Is that does that mean that you're a Nazi sympathizer?" I was like, "North Face? Since when is North Face a fucking Nazi sympathizer T-shirt?" He's like, "Oh no, I just thought I thought I've seen it on the TV. I saw Dan Andrews wearing it. I thought, oh, is that like one of those Nazi like? I was like what are you talking about, mate? Are you mad? Are you fucking mad?" I like that rumor. I like, I think that is a good rumor to spread, but it, I thought it was going to be one of your merch shirts. I'm like, okay. No. Okay. He's got For, some swearing we in there. Maybe this, old people we were, think that's offensive, but no, Nazis wear North Face. They were well dressed, but those, those, those Nazis, I don't know if you've ever seen video of them. They look fucking good. For, um, for the first, you know, we spoke to this dude for like 25 minutes. He dead set thought I was a Nazi for 20 minutes. Nazi like that's, North Face. I'm going to type it in. Is it a conspiracy? We should start. What's What's the there's reference a, between North Face and ah, the Nazis? There's There's a film called North Face. Um, it's a German film. Here we go. Directed by <laughs> Philip Stozzi. Um, it's based on the famous 1936 attempt to climb the Eiger North Face. About two. No, that's not about Nazis. That's just German <laughs> climbers. <laughs> <laughs> It's Maybe it's a German Germans. brand. I don't know. I don't know, man. I I think that I don't know. He's a strange dude. I don't think he listens to the show. Uh, but <laughs> I was I was really put off by that. I thought you know this guy had a long form. If I was talking to a dude and he had a big swastika sticker on his shirt, probably wouldn't continue the convo for too long. Although in saying that, re- remember I French. You remember this, Josh? You probably remember as well. I got in trouble for a Jew joke uh, in a show, a Jewish joke. Mm. Uh, about uh, uh, Auschwitz and the Holocaust and stuff. And I, probably about six months before that, a um, mutual friend of ours, uh, French, uh, Neil Cole Hatkar, great comedian, great bloke, um, very nice fellow, very good man, uh, loves uh, uh, Analingus. Um, don't know if anyone knows that. It's a, ru- it's a true rumor uh, that he loves eating ass, Neil. Um, anyway. Respect. He, he, no, it's fun. He, if, if you if you're hungry, why not? He told me. He told me. Um, basically, one night we we're having beers, and he told me, and I said, "No, me too." And, and it was that was the end of it. Uh, and so we got along for the rest of our lives, be based on that fact. Um, so now he sends me memes about eating ass. It's hilarious. Anyway, oh, I don't get those memes. What the fuck? Come on, Neil. I hate being out of a chat where they're getting good memes. <laughs> <laughs> so. He he asked me probably about six months before um, the whole Holocaust joke bit comes out and I get trashed in the media. He says to me, do you want to do a video with me? I was like, yeah, sure. I, w- I was only new online. I couldn't believe Neil was asking me to do a video with him. He goes, I need a tall guy to dress like Hitler. I was like, oh, okay. Or like <laughs> the SS or whatever. I was like, yeah, I'll do it. 
And then I spoke to someone and they go, oh, maybe you shouldn't do that because then it could like, it could come back and bite you in the ass. I was like, nah, surely not. Thank fuck I didn't do that. Could you imagine a photo of me in a Nazi uniform as that comes out? It would have been the worst combo meal of all but- time. <laughs> it just would have been the perfect storm. I like, you fuck. W- w- you would have sold a lot of tickets, though. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows how to ride the controversy in a ticket sales like you do. It's a fucking art, brother. It's a I fucking it. art. It, well, it like, depends. What is it? Was the video clever? Oh, well, it's Neil, so it would have been well written. There's no yeah. doubt about that. Was it like a short um, film? Was it like doesn't one of matter. short films? Oh it yeah, doesn't matter. Out, of, out of context. Yeah, yeah. And that's what they run with. They love the out of context bit. So they would have ran with that and they would have just fucking murdered me with it. Um, I'll have to ask Neil about it one day and and because he's probably forgotten about it. Have you got, oh, are yeah. you breaking your arm out? Frenchie's got his, he's lifted his uh, shirt up a little bit to expose his bicep. What, what's going on there, mate? Are you no, just, to- just, just, just something I do when I'm listening is I, I touch myself, get the guns out. Don't carry on. Don't carry on. Don't get distracted by the python. <laughs> my, my brother does that. He, Jonas, he's um twenty. You guys know Jonas. I mean, Josh plays footy with Jonas. Um, I do. And Frenchy, you've met him at birthday things and whatnot. And uh, yeah. the Buttsman's birthday Bonanza Bash Part Eight has to be, uh, at, which is my birthday party, has been suspended for another couple Delayed of months. Delayed again. Delayed again. I know. It'll be good when it happens. Uh, anyway, Jonas will sit there at a family whatever, and he'll so he's got his shirt off or whatever, and he'll he'll do like the titty dance. Like I'll be talking oh, to him and he'll start yeah. doing it. Like I, he won't break eye contact. He'll just stare at me and just start doing like a titty dance. <laughs> and I have to stop whatever I'm talking about to say, are you fucking right? And he knows it pisses me off because I can't concentrate while a grown man is just bouncing his pectorals at me. I'm like, can you fuck off, you little shit? Like Terry he- Crews. Hey? Like Terry Crews. Yeah, well, not as good as Terry Crews, but he'll just do it because he knows it annoys me. And I'm like, I don't want to stare at my brother's nipples, but can you not draw attention to them? Like, it's hard to maintain <laughs> eye contact when someone's doing that at you. I can, no, I, I can, I can confirm they are a nice set of nipples that uh, the young Jonas has got. They're, they're a strong set of nipples for sure. Oh, Dude, he got, got gen- it, he got all the genetics. If you got it, flaunt it. What? He got all no. the genetics. Like, he's the good footballer in the family and he's the fit one and. Fucking little shit. I feel like that's all you need for that family is to be the good footballer and you'll be the favorite. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Doesn't mate, matter what I, you do the rest of your life if you're the good footballer. Number one. Wait, I'll go and I, when I sold 2,000 tickets in the end more, I got home. <laughs> I said, yeah, no, the show was good. 2,000 people. And mum and dad were like, yeah. Well, Jonas, he just ran all the way. <laughs> From the end of the street to here and didn't drop the ball once, you wouldn't believe it. And I'm like, what am I fucking invisible? <laughs> it's an uh, outrage. Bro, that's, that's what's funny about like, um, well, if you think about Michael Jordan, funniest part about that, do you ever watch Space Jam growing up? Yeah. And not realize the baseball thing actually fucking happened. Yeah. Not until yeah. I watched, um, not until I watched the, uh, the Netflix documentary, The Last Dance. And I was like, oh, that kind of actually went to play baseball. <laughs> well, yeah, I, yeah, I realized I realized before it, but like it was I was still in my twenties when I found out, yo, he quit height of bas- best basketball player in the world, went and played fucking baseball for two years, just because that was his dad's favorite sport. Like it's crazy. They, wasn't there a bit of a, a conspiracy or or thought that he did that because he was like ordered to do that by the N- NBL, NBL, yeah, NBA, NBA, NBA. Fucking what's NBL? Basket, uh, that's, baseball. That's a Australian, that's a baseball. Australian basketball. It's just, it's just yeah. as good, but with more no, no. defense, I was right. and less dunking. I was right. It was he was ordered by the Australian Basketball Association. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, the real, real puppeteers. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the big cheese. No, he was ordered by the uh, NBA to as a punishment for betting on games or being involved in um, some sort of uh, issue with gambling and it was a punishment. So he had to, and they just played it off like, oh, he's having a break. And this was actually a, it was a suspension. That That's the whole idea. It was a suspension that yeah. he was 
to be punished and gone over. And, and basically, you, you we're going to get you away from the sport for 12 months or however long he was there. And he played it off like, no, no, I'm going to go and play, going to give baseball a go. And from all reports, he was actually not bad. Well, his dad did die like just before it happened. And there's been no one coming out saying he ever bet on the basketball. Yeah, he had a mad gambling problem. But I think by now, someone would have leaked he was betting on games. You know what I mean? Sure. And that's the only reason, like, they would do that because he was making them so much fucking money. Yeah. Like, Dude, when you, when you have as much money as him, <laughs> like, you have blokes. Josh, Josh is a, an owner of a scaffolding company, and he's still on the tools. He's a good man. And you but, have blokes at your yeah. See, Josh is holding up dirty hands because he hasn't had a shower. The fucking pig. Yeah, he just put or he put fake tan on. I don't know one or the yeah, other. Oh, he's been watching too much Two Girls One Cup and really getting <laughs> in the mood. In the mood. In the mood. And well, when I used to work for a company, like I won't say the name of the company, but I used to work and look after kids. There are a lot of the kids that used to jerk off with poo. Oh, that was what? like a thing. Yeah. So it never happened to me. Uh, I was never jerked off with poo by the kids, but I, I, I can, can confirm that. No, but like I know one of my mates, Taylor, he had a kid that one of his big issues was he would jerk off with poo. And apparently it was heaps like quite um, common, a behavioral issue that they would wank with poo. So, I mean, you know, sometimes jerking off, it's a bit of a cleanup mess. You got to get tissues, it gets stuck in your hair. Uh, not your hair hair, but like your chest hair. <laughs> Not even your chest hair, your belly hair, whatever. I'm going to stop talking. But um, <laughs> if you, but imagine I will the say- cleanup crew. You got to get in to clean up poo. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Okay, Frenchie, save will, me, please. Okay, it's it's gross, but I think it's kind of like ahead of their time that they're lube, using lube because I still have mates who don't use lube when they jerk off. Do you know what I mean? You don't. Or you don't or need like lube. any cream or nothing. They don't spit enough, and they just go completely dry forever. Frenchie, I'm like, I'm a dry man. I'm a dry man. Oh, I'm a dry bro, man. You don't use anything ever. You don't need nah. to. Ever. Nah. You got Josh, you got a, you get it done. Josh has got a foreskin, right? Oh, you Josh, got you got a foreskin, yeah? Yeah, yeah I got a foreskin. Frenchie, you don't have a foreskin, do you? I do have one. I do have one. <laughs> you don't need them. You've been you've been lied to. The cut the, the lube it. companies it's just better, bro. To you. It's just better. I don't use lube, I use whatever's next to my bed. <laughs> what, what you fucking need a variety of things. Huh? Could be a variety of things. Nutella. Two girls, moisturizer, one cup. Mo- mostly moisturizer. So I then it gets like soft. Use- then it gets soft too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I bet your doodle looks. I bet you got a really good looking cock. It's like really youthful. Oh, it's smooth. It's smooth <laughs> when you what? find it. It's fucking no, no wrinkles. No wrinkles. What, yeah, that, that's what I'm gonna say. What happens if you get too much moisturizer on your scrotum and it just looks like a nice big balloon, nice <laughs> that's, and smooth? Then the scrotums have no danger of that happening. I know. <laughs> um. They, yeah, they, they, no, they're wrinkly. With, what, <laughs> men without foreskins, you need lubricant because you, your top of your dick dries out. It's supposed oh. to be soft and supple, right? So if you've got a fourie, you don't need it. You don't all. need it, but it's still better, bro. Yeah, but... Do you ever have sometimes... a posh wank? Do you ever have a posh wank with a, with a condom on? <laughs> when I was posh younger. Wank. Yeah. You ever done that? They're haze fun. It's called a posh when wank. When I was it's, younger. It's haze fun. Just like well, mixing it up, you know what I mean? When, it's just when, like, when I was younger, I, I think I probably did that after like health class, and they handed out condoms and stuff. Well, let's face it, I was sixteen; I wasn't going to be filling any for fucking nearly ten years, so I, I may as well <laughs> give it a go. Um, it's a good way to learn. You learn how to capture it, really get, definitely get them involved. What about? I saw a TikTok last night to thankfully get off this subject, sort of. Um, I, I, <laughs> As we're talking, we'll get back I'm just on thinking. It soon. Don't worry, don't worry. Go on. Yeah, go as on. I'm we're talking, not going very far. <laughs> as I'm, well, we're actually not. Uh, but as as I was talking, I was just thinking about the family members and friends who watch this. Anyway, um, <laughs> thankfully, Grand can't get the internet. Anyway, so I should be watching Two Girls One Cup. I wouldn't hear from her for a couple of weeks. So there was this TikTok, and they were measuring in, in a vial. I'm sure you all know what vials. Are. I don't know why I'm making it with my hand. A vial of sperm, how long the sperm would live for. And so how how long, how many, you know, how long do you reckon a sperm would last, live for in a in a little thing of sperm? Half hour. Half hour, Josh? Uh, just in the vial. I'm going to give it, yeah, three or four hours. All right. So to the men 
And to the women listening to this, this should terrify you. There was sperm still alive in that vial 15 days later. Interesting. Because so I that means, look. So go on. That means that once you've jizzed in a tissue and flushed the toilet and it goes to the treatment facility and they treat it and it flies out into the ocean, there is sperm of yours out near the continental shelf of Australia. Just just living the dream. Impregnating fish. Yeah, <laughs> fish in whales. <laughs> Some sea captains them. catching it. Going, Jeez, this sea's salty today. You know, it's everywhere. <laughs> Bit of sea I foam. Saw- I saw a Law and Order SVU where some chick gave, like gave head, caught in her mouth, spat into a cup, then took it in and, and jammed it up herself. Maybe they infertilized it, whatever. She got pregnant, and then he's got to pay child support. It was a wild episode. Yeah, wow. it was good. Is that the technical term for impregnating oneself, jamming it up yourself? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Insemination a or jamming it. <laughs> do they do they use a turkey baster? Because that's probably the best way to do it. Yeah, I would say you'd use a turkey baster or like a friend who's really good at like spitting, <laughs> or like a super soaker. No, you right, get a high powered that- high powered super soaker. Right? You get out there, you pump it up a few times. You're pregnant. Well done. <laughs> Congrats. It's like you know, you know, in some of those old movies where they got like a like a, a dude in a western and he spits into the bucket and you hear the twang. <laughs> 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 oh, so I French, always how's... thought. That, wait, wait one second. I always thought that'd no. be a funny uh, porn parody of the western. You know how they do the the standoff and they both see you can fire the gun first. <laughs> Fuck, have you seen? So it's a game, and then you both stand across from each other and then you both start whacking off first and whoever comes on the other person wins. You know, they, they like pace away. They go, one, two, three, draw. Yeah, draw. And, and then you go, start going. <laughs> oh, That's this is funny. a filthy episode, Isaac. That's what good. have you got me on for? What is this podcast? I so, thought this was going to be clever political banter. It's not normally why, this Why would you think this, that? It's not normally this disgusting, to be fair. This is like a particularly <laughs> gross bring it out in people. I bring it out in people. <sighs> This I don't know. I'm looking for this particular video. It's a censored porn video. Um, and it's got like, they've drawn like cartoons on top of yeah, the naked people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you I've know what it. it's, it's very called? funny. Oh, nah. yeah, that's how he's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've Fuck, I'm on XX. Oh, is this it? I'm on XXXBunker.com. Nah, that sounds like this is a it. porn website. It sounds like regular porn. It's definitely not. <laughs> it fucking is this one too. Oh, my God. Oh, have you right. found it? Yeah, I don't link know if we'll me. be able to play it. But nah, just link, link it to me so I got it. No, nah, no, I'll play it on here. So we'll describe it. I don't think we'll be able to play it for everyone, but and I don't think I'll be able to spread the audio. So what I guess what we'll do is I'll get producer Connor to put a beautiful sunset, okay, over this clip. Um, but it's called Funny Old School Censored Cartoon Porn. It's not actually cartoon people, but they've drawn cartoons over the people fucking. And we're going to watch it. And I'll have to describe the sounds for you guys. But um, I'll make it big, so to speak. And uh, yeah, Connor, just play for the people watching this on video. Just play a nice little sunset. Whilst hello, Connor. This. Also, hello, Connor. He's, hello, Connor. He's not going to say hello back, but I really enjoyed that. Okay, so this is here. So this is a lady. Um, <laughs> That is a scary Okay, so it's like there's a, the noise is diesel productions. Okay. You know that's So she's good up porn. here. So it's safe for work porn. There's a koala. Then they're pretending to ride a horse as they're rooting. This bloke's rooting his Pinball lady, machine. but it's actually. Pinball machine. Now <laughs> so now he's fingering a phone. She's bouncing a. She's wow, jerking off a dude bit of like maracas. <laughs> Playing a harmonica. I, I mean, you li- could possibly. No, I, I don't think we should put guitar. it in. This lady's played a fucking. You yeah, could put all DJ. these in, bro. This is just. No, I can't. But like, <laughs> rubbing that clit is like spinning those decks. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. He's <laughs> <holy>. <laughs> oh, this Look is it up because that's hilarious. <laughs> She's eating corn. <laughs> She's eating a bit of sucking a banana. Oh fuck. That is that's great okay. work from whoever did that. That's that's fantastic animation. Very very good. Oh, now I've got live Jasmine up. 
Some people Jeez. are just givers. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't, I don't like. They're just like people are going to enjoy this. You're welcome. Yeah, they do world. the hard putting yards. that putting that out into the world for free. You're like, yeah. you're going to have a laugh about that. So what's happening with you, French? What are you up to these days? Not been doing oh, bro. shows. Oh, Obviously, I'm um, obviously I'm um, fucking what week ten of lockdown or some shit. So it's tough. Obviously, like you, I'm trying to do shows as soon as I can, but. They're just going to keep getting pushed further and further back. I've got like 15 waiting, ready to go, but yeah, can't really film either because no one I film lives in my 5K. So luckily you do your little videos by yourself. Well, they're big videos. They're, they're, my little videos? You see how long they're not TikToks. Jesus Christ. Was, no, they're not TikToks. They're big videos. That's why I said. I was like, oh, that's. So how are that's your little videos go? <laughs> Very patronizing. I love it. Going? How's your little videos going? Your little Nazi, your little North Face Nazi boy. <laughs> How's that little YouTube thing going? How's that yeah, little, going well. little thing going? A little, little show at the end more. Do you still assault? The- no, um, I won't say that. Uh, <laughs> stop myself. Well done, Isaac. Um, yeah, so I see a lot of your uh, content on TikTok. Yeah. And how, how's so what- that going? How is that so changing I'm, your demographic? So what I'm just trying to do, be better at, is sort of maneuvering, like going with the flow. Like you know how, like uh, you got your heart set on doing stand up, you can't do it. Can't, I can't shoot with with Demi at the moment. I can't shoot the Thompsons video, so I'm like, okay, what can I do? I can do a fucking 25 second TikTok by myself because they expect little to no quality on on the the camera work that's on TikTok. So it's good because you get like the younger market again. People are like, oh, who's this new guy? He's pretty funny. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, oh, he's he's got a lot to learn. <laughs> you don't even know. <laughs> could you right. do like a could you do a new series on YouTube with your cutouts? Um, I'm trying to think what's the best way to do cutouts. So I did a film the video, I haven't edited it yet with Dan uh, Andrews. Where I taught him about stair safety, how to how to correctly go downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> what about really- what about like an episode of Friends, but it's just like you've got the cardboard cutouts, you, uh, Barry Jiglian, Scomo, Dan Andrews, and who's another one? Pl- uh, Plibersheck from Queensland, and it's just like. You know, um, obviously, who would be who? Do you think? That's so in funny. That, that is so. Do I do just? Do I just play an episode and then they like? They like mouth Rachel and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Or do I do voices no, for them? I, I think you do the voices for them. And I think you do like Dan Andrews is Joey. Barry Jicklian would probably be. Uh, yeah, Dan Andrews is more of, I'd say he's more of a Ross. He's a fucking nerd. He's a nerd, man. He's a proper nerd. Yeah. You don't think he'd be I, Chandler? Nah, I think. So, well, we got to put ScoMo in there too. You got to think about who's he competing with for which characters, yeah. okay? So Chandler, we need three dudes. Joey, Joey would be ScoMo. Because he's a big dumb cunt. That's, yeah, big dumb cunt. Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> so we got Joey Scomo, then who's going to be the other male politician? So What about uh, well, Bruzzy Barilaro? There's you. There's you. Bruzzy Barilaro. I thought I was just directing. Am I one of them? Well, you got to be in it too. I guess I would be Chandler and then he can be Ross. Yeah. <laughs> Good call. Good call. Okay, okay so we've so- got Phoebe. <laughs> we've got... We've got Phoebe, we've got uh, Rachel, and we've got um, Monica. Lonnie or whatever the other, Monica. So, so Gladys has got to be Monica because she's the uptight bitch. Yes. Yeah. Plibersheck, she would she's have to be. Is she hot hmm. or kooky? What do you reckon? She's neither. She's a bitch. <laughs> um, <laughs> she is. So she's why don't we so just do mean. three Monicas? They can all be Monica. They can all, all be Monica. Monica. <laughs> <laughs> no, why don't we do Pauline Hanson's Rachel, Jennifer Aniston, just for yep. the fucking lols. <laughs> you should get oh. a Pauline Hanson cut out. Why don't you? It's just you a lot of money so for much. each joke. It's a lot. How okay. much? So it's a lot of money for each joke. It's not a lot, but it's. I haven't put them in a YouTube video yet, so they haven't made me any money. They've just got me a lot of <laughs> likes on Instagram, which I'm not fucking 15 anymore. It doesn't mean nothing to me. <laughs> how, how, how much are these costing you? 80 bucks. 80 bucks a pop. Oh, come on. Wait. You're like, okay, I got Gladys. I got Dan Andrews. I get fucking eight of them. That's fucking like, what, 800 bucks, 700 bucks? Uh, six, 680. No. It's getting up there, bro. That's getting up there for a joke. Six, when six, I don't six, have a fucking job at the moment. Yeah, that's two bags <laughs> of rack. <laughs> let, let me pick. Why don't you? How about this? How about 
we do another podcast in another couple of weeks and you send me whoever gets these whoever gets these made for you and I'll send you some and we'll do like a live reaction to who I send you. Uh, I like I like that. That'll be hilarious. It's a it's a website I use, so I'll just send you the link. See if there's send any you the like. Link. If not, if not, you can send in your own pictures. Right. Um, that, that's funny. I think I'll have to get Scomo. I'm not sure about Pauline. She's not really relevant at the moment. She needs to do another racist rant or something. Yeah, she was at the freedom rallies and stuff, which is I just I just love seeing her. I'm just like, there she is. She back. She's a vibe. She's staying relevant. She's like. At least, like, she's just so ridiculous. She's funny. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I was, what? you know what? She said something that was really, um, what did she say? She said, I can't remember what she said. And, and Claire shared it on Instagram because it was about, like, lockdowns or something. And she, because this is the thing about Pauline, she she often says something that makes sense, but then she ruins it. It's like, like conspiracy theorists like David Icke, like he'll say something that may be true, turns out to be true, but then he goes on about the queen being a lizard, and people are just like, whoa. <laughs> um, like Pauline's like that. Like she'll say something that sort of makes sense, and then she'll just, and it's like, fuck, you've ruined that, Pauline. You took it way too far. <laughs> um, like we were, we were like with you for a second, and then you've ruined it. But, um. <laughs> Uh, can I say that on YouTube? Maybe fucking bleep that out, Connor. Pauline, <laughs> Pauline said it. You didn't say it. Doesn't matter. It. Doesn't matter. All it has, all someone has to do is. You see what happened last time? Someone clipped something of me on Twitter. It went fucking super viral, and everyone wanted me to die. Um, Good. Tom, so, Tom made this joke on the podcast we did on Monday. We we're talking about something, and he's like, obviously being facetious. Whatever the fucking yeah, word is. Facetious. He's like, he's like, yeah, that's the important thing to remember about sexual assault. Always blame the victim. <laughs> Very funny in context, out of context, out of, and I, I, I told our editor, I was like, clip that out of context, and let's fucking put it everywhere. Let's cancel. You, know you should, you should try and get, see what you could do to get Tom cancelled. Nothing, bro. Nothing. He's got a blue mullet at the moment. He's openly joke, openly claims to be a pedophile. He's like pro kids in his TikTok bio. He's not getting cancelled, bro. He's fine. Wow. Because he's does, a fun it, pedo. He's like, oh, he's going to yeah. get show him a good time. Do you know what I mean? Like do a you, wiggle. Do you worry that it, that him being so pro pedophilia as a joke <laughs> could be like like a front for him actually? Nah. Like, nah. Nah. Is that, is that you being nice? Or? You know those hard in plain sights? They would never joke about it. Like if you had joked about it with Rolf Harris at the time, he'd be like, no, I would never. George Powell, allegedly George Powell, all those ones would be like, I never. Yeah. They get jobs in the industry, yeah, but they don't joke about it. No. It's always the ones that would never joke about it. Mm. Mm. So you got to, if you got a group of mates and you'd be like, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you, I don't want to say any of the jokes because they'll get taken out of context. But, mm. you know, if you joke about something that's horrible and your mate goes, nah, I'd never do that, he'd definitely do it. Definitely, <laughs> without a doubt. That's a hard and fast rule here. That's that's yeah, a yeah. That fast is it. rule. Yeah, like hard if you went around a table rule. and said to your mates, "How many, how many women have you murdered in the park?" and everyone goes, "Eh, six, four, three, eleven. and one of your mates goes, "Mate, that is disgusting. How dare you joke about that?" As a proud male feminist, he is the one who's murdering chicks in the park. The one. Every Murder. day of the week, there's no doubt. <laughs> But I will say this, often in a group of like different groups get desensitized to different jokes. Do you know what I mean? Especially if you're hanging out with like lad mates, tradie mates, oh, you yeah. don't realize how the other half can be. Yeah. Uh, so I was in, the, I was in, the, I was playing cricket. I got this cricket team. We got this Facebook chat. It's funny. One afternoon, we're having a few beers. One of the umpires, we add him into the chat. He thinks it's a fun fun joke to start putting heaps of animal porn, uh, animals oh. with women, like a horse fucking a woman or something like that. Like, how have we come abs- back to the? How have well, we come back to the chicken cause, fucker? Because I was thinking gone- of this story before, but I never got to tell it. Anyway, <laughs> it's come full circle. Definitely cook, definitely cook. But there's one guy who doesn't have any tradie mates, so he's like, "What the fuck? What the fuck?" Deletes the chat immediately, being like, "Like fucking deleting apps from his phone." He's freaking out, like the feds are gonna get him. Like he's like washing out his eyeballs with soap. <laughs> like, right? How have you not like? It's not. I get it's not great. We <clears throat> want to look at it, but like that's an overreaction. It gets. Like I that, realize though, when you're he's around. just in a different. He's in a different yeah. circle of friends who don't do these sort of jokes, and and we are what a we're terrible what a what a terrible life to live. 
that you're not in that circle of friends. It's like that when I go when I go on the road and I come home, like you're on you're in that comedy sort of like vibe. Um, I can't believe I use the word vibe. <laughs> Fucking someone shoot me. Um, if you're in that Wanker. sort of, I know no, you're in that that mindset. Like I'll come. I remember coming back from being away for like five days, and I've been doing shows and whatnot. And I went and saw my gran. And I, and I just was talking and I said, yeah, what a fucking cunt to su- about something. And she's just like, yeah. Jesus Christ. I, yeah. <laughs> I was like, sorry, you that's, forget, you forget bro, where you are. Bro, the funniest part is like people are like, oh, you worried your videos or, or stand up will get you cancelled? I'm like, no, I'm worried my group chats will get me cancelled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if they get out, I'm done, bro. I'd say I'd say a lot of blokes that have highly, highly incriminating group chats, like some yeah. proper, like, yeah, some yeah. really, really dark, scary the, shit. That the seal <laughs> of confessional of the group chat should be higher than that of a priest or a lawyer. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Definitely. Or a doctor. It's like what Definitely. you say in the group chat should be more than the doctor's. The doctor's oh, seal but the, of the things you joke seat. about with your mates, like, some of the heinous, most heinous shit. But the people you joke about that with would never do anything horrible like the things you would joke about. Oh, of course. Like of it's, course. And I think that sort of, as we said before, it's sort of like, you know, we were sort of joking, but we're sort of right. Like the people who will joke about things that are horrible often never mean it. Or even if you, you joke about something obviously horribly racist or sexist, often no, oftentimes those people aren't horribly racist or sexist. Sometimes they are. Particularly tradies. Most tradies are sec- racist sexists. But, um, <laughs> but uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I think I, we should push that. I agree. That. I, agree. I think we should push <laughs> that. Well, all the tradies around my house keep leaving fucking KFC chicken bones everywhere and Littlefoot keeps eating them every day. So I've, I've got a vendetta against them. The, the, uh, right. the tradies handbag, the old fucking zinger box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's, right. a, it's a lifeblood of the industry. Right. Well, How good's mate. a good zing? Oh. Oh. Solo K. Do, you, do you follow Solo K on Facebook? Nah, no. Nah, so, I was blokes in their zinger boxes was a was a big hit for a while. I was I was uh, on that page for a while. It's fucking very good. So the one I follow is called Solo Solo K, and p- blokes post uh, when they have KFC by themselves, and so they'll take a photo. <laughs> I'll take a photo generally just of, of the box, wherever they are. Sometimes it's in like an Asian country, not as much anymore. And they'll rate it. They'll be like, chips, pretty good. Eight out of 10. You know what I mean? It's like so funny. I love don't it. They have, Solo don't, they have, K. don't they have KFC in Bali? <laughs> yeah, they yeah got it's it. not very good. Would you trust KFC in Bali? Um, as much as I trust any food in Bali, bro. Yeah, or the, or the alcohol or the fucking pharmaceuticals or anything else you do in Bali. The women. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're rolling the dice with everything. Had, they had chicken in K, uh, KFC chicken in, um, in Bali. I was like, mate, that's. You're running the fucking gauntlet there. That's yeah, risky right. for, for everything. For, 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 for it fucking destroying your gut, for making yeah. it shit, make you shit for weeks, and for it not being chicken. Like there's a yeah, lot you're of running, you're running the gauntlet. There. You're running the gauntlet, drinking fucking twenty Iraq and orange juices, and yeah, hitting yeah. the knock chop as well. And people, what were they doing? <laughs> they were giving you. That. There's some. Imagine there's that. some. What? Imagine, imagine going to Bali. You go to KFC. You get on the piss, and you go to a brothel. The things that can go wrong there. You can eat cat at KFC. You can drink ethanol at the bar, and you can root a bloke. All in the one night. That's a lot sounds of things like that can go wrong. Sounds like an absolute cracker. Sounds like but, a delta. Yeah, it's a great. I I find those sort of nights are like as long as you're doing all of them, you're going to be fine. It's when you just yeah. try to do one and being yeah. being a coward is when it's like goes wrong. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Everything cancel. It all cancels each other out, and you sweet, and you just go again. I've had. Yeah, um, it is. I'll say it's like two the things. Hangover, on, the movie. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> yeah. Right. I'll say two things on this topic. There's something like beautiful about trying fast food in every country you know what i mean just how slightly different they are second thing worst experience i had with fast food isaac you'll you'll this will give you shivers early on there was a fast food franchise which i didn't know the reputation of it was called lord of the fries yeah have you heard of this place yeah they've got a lot of those in melbourne and sydney melbourne I've, I've, i was gonna say I've, melbourne I've, yeah it's, i've never had it but i've seen it vegan fast food oh really I didn't know that either. So I rolled in. I'm not thinking. I'm like, fuck, I like fries. There'll be something else. Oh, there's nuggets there. I'm going to have the nuggets. Beautiful. Because I wanted something quick. I mean, the nuggets, I'm I'm through the second one. I'm like, 
yo, this nugget's fucking off. This is fucking off. I'm with the missus. I'm like, this is this is not a good nugget. She has a nugget. She's like, oh, what the? F-? It's a vegan nugget. It's what the fuck's uh, a vegan nugget? Bro, I was, is that just like I was so upset. Beans or I felt what? like I was lied to. I was like, I, I felt like an anti-vaxxer getting tricked into a vaccination. That's what I felt like. I was like, no, <laughs> no I did not agree to this. I think Kevin's fucking Get healthier for me. My body, my agree. choice. Get out. Bro, I was so upset. I was so upset. I was so, I'm still upset, to be honest. Boys, on the topic be a of warning. Food, <laughs> on the topic of food, I um as I said, I went for a run. I didn't have lunch or breakfast. And Dick's You're hungry. pizzas upstairs. Oh, You're so hungry. I'm, cut, I'm cutting this interview short. <laughs> I'm, t- I'm cutting he's, this podcast now. He's very unprofessional. Shit. It's all this poop talk. He's like, oh, daddy's got <laughs> oh, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Mr. Hanky, get in my belly. <laughs> I'm gonna try one of these shit wanks. Um Frenchie, thank you very much. Josh, as always. Send me that send me that company with the cardboard cutouts. I wanna get I wanna get back get you back on here in a couple of weeks and we'll open them live on oh. the air. I will. That'll be hilarious. That will make my lockdown, I think, Isaac. And and come Fuck it, come mate. do my potty soon. Actually, we might we'll jump yeah. jump on for sure. Yeah. Well, well let's. Why don't we get? Why don't we get um, Tom to watch the B and E Pain Olympics, and I'll I'll join you for that. Fucking hell! <laughs> Fuck oh hell. no, I don't want to watch that. I don't want to watch that. Ladies I'd rather and watch gentlemen, that. check okay, out Frenchy you. on TikTok. That's where he's hanging out these days with the King of the Kids. <laughs> don't, don't say that. Don't <laughs> say. But yes, check me out on TikTok. <laughs> 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 Josh Nelson, the, the daily, the daily blue. Uh, check him out on Instagram. He's everywhere and on Facebook. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. As I'm, I'm facing the window here at my house at the moment, and my legs are open. And uh, there's people walking past out the front. Their dogs doing a shit. I can see that. That's great. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Make sure you subscribe. Check it out on Spotify as well. We'll back up in the top 20 last week. So we want to get to number one, of course, and take out the evil Fair Barn Films, guys. Those little fucking fuckers. Be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East. Thank you, Frenchie. Thank you, Josh. Toodle-a-wop-wop. Bye-bye.